Hey guys, welcome back to another Joe Muller frozen food review. Today, I was in my local shop right and saw these. Seafood appetizers, mac and cheese shrimp bites from Gorton's, a trusted name since 1849. Cheesy macaroni and bite-sized pieces of shrimp rolled in crispy breadcrumbs. Up next, stay tuned. Okay guys, so this ran me a total of $4.99 and you get 12 pieces in this box. Okay, so let's see how we're going to cook it. We're going to cook this in the conventional air fryer. Preheat, 425, arrange, bake for 15 to 17 minutes. Alright, let's see what we got here. Oh, it's got a zip things. And here they are, guys. Mac and cheese shrimp bites. Who would ever think they would add shrimp to mac and cheese? Pretty good idea. Okay, so let me cut open the bag. All right. And I'm gonna put these in the trusted air fryer. Oh, you know what? You know what I forgot to do, guys? What did I forget to do? I forgot to preheat. So here's what we're going to do. Air fryer only goes up to 400. So that is really, really good enough because the air fryer is very, very efficient, very, very hot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to warm this for five minutes. And then we're going to stick the shrimp bites in the air fryer. Okay guys, we're at the halfway point. I'm gonna give it a little flippy flip if I can. Just get these flipped over. They are nice and um, they're crispy on top already. Gotta love the air fryer, guys. Gotta get one of these if you don't have one. Get this one flipped over. about as good as I'm going to get it. Okay guys, they are done. And check them out. I'm going to plate these up, let them cool, and we'll be right back to give them a shot. Okay guys, all plated up. I'm going to let them sit for about five minutes, and then we'll give them a shot. Okay guys, they have been sitting for about five minutes. They are okay to handle. And as you can see, they are very, very crispy. The air fryer did an absolute awesome job. You guys got to get an air fryer. They're absolutely wonderful. The Mac and Cheese Shrimp Bites. These ran me a total of $4.99 at my local ShopRite. You get 12 pieces. They look really, really nice. All right, first bite, wish me luck. Salut. Mmm. Wow. Very, very buttery. Very creamy. I love the... The outer shell, it's really nice and crispy, has a really, really good, rich, bready flavor. Mm. I'm not getting much of um, shrimp flavor. All right, second bite. Mm. Mm. The mac and cheese... It's very, very good. 
It is not very sharp. It is a American cheese type of flavor. It is very, very subtle. I do like the sharp um, cheddar, though. But I'm not getting... I am getting like zero shrimp here, guys. All right, let's hope by the time I get to the end, I get a little bit of shrimp flavor. Wow. They are very, very good. The shrimpiness is really not your dominant player. It's your breadcrumbs coupled with your mac and cheese. The shrimp flavor is very, very subtle at best. I am really, really trying to tease that out, and I am really, really having a rough time. All right, last bite on here. Mm. Really, really good mouthfeel. I definitely like the crunch. These are really, really good. Unfortunately, you know, I'm not getting any shrimp flavor. Not one iota. And that's kind of unfortunate. Because these are really, really made well. I, I all right, let me let me just see. Take another bite. And let's see. You know what? Even better than that. Let's dissect one of these things and see if we can identify any shrimp. All right. Look at that, guys. What do you think? Isn't that appropriate? This is a fish. I think my Uncle Carl made this in grade school and gave it to my grandfather and my grandfather unfortunately has been gone for years and we've sort of inherited it and every morning my grandfather used to have his um, wasa toast, his honey, his cottage cheese on this particular fish for many many years. All right. Okay, guys, for the purpose of this review, we are going to do a dissection, and I am going to attempt, well, I'm not, I'm not really going to be successful, guys. I'm like seeing no, I don't see any shrimp in here. Hold on a minute, hold on. There is something right here. That looks like shrimp. Man. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. All right, let me see if that is shrimp though. Let me take, whoops. <laughs> let me just take a bite of this. Yep, we got it guys, we found Waldo. That is a definite piece of shrimp, but I do have to say, it is so minute that the mac and cheese flavor is definitely masking any kind of a shrimp flavor. Um, Gorton's, I do like what you've put together here, but it is really, really lacking in shrimp, and I can't recommend this to my audience, unfortunately. On a scale of 1 to 10, this is a total disappointment, although... <sighs> You know, it really it's really great, but I'm getting no shrimp flavor. Even though I did identify one piece of little itty bitty piece of shrimp, if you guys had a little bit more shrimp and it was a definite seafood flavor, I would I would definitely give this a knock it out of the park nine plus hit. With the way it stands right now, I'm giving these a five. I, I think the fact that um, I, I do feel that the the box is um, really, really misrepresenting um, what I'm getting here. You could see that the shrimp is really, really big and large font bold. Um, the mac and cheese is a secondary 
Um, so I am really, really expecting a definite, dominant, big shrimp sort of component to the mac and cheese, guys. So um, it, it's, you know, it's false advertising. And uh, Gorton's, I don't know if I can really trust you um, based on this particular product. You know, um, a trusted brand since 1849. I really think you guys need to do a lot better in this with this product and um, I, I would make the the shrimp a little bit of a sort of a, a background sort of um, I, I to tell you quite frankly if if I didn't know that there was shrimp in here I would never get it never in a million years never all right guys on a scale of 1 to 10 with 10 being the very best I'm giving this a 5 you guys got the red light don't go out and try it um, no shrimp flavor whatsoever. Well, it is what it is, and that's why we're doing this. Anyway, that was my review. I hope you guys found this informative. Steer clear of this product in the frozen food section. Anyway, take care, and until next time, so long.